live from the DWE studios, I brought to you Evolution, Episode 2. And it's not just any special episode, it is the episode before our first pay-per-view, Payback. So after this episode of Evolution, be expecting the next episode in the series to be our first pay-per-view. Oh my god, it is... If you guys haven't been keeping up on the channel, follow me on the Mystical Warlock Supreme. The link is in my Mixer channel, as well as this will be uploaded to YouTube. You can just scroll down below and subscribe if you're new. Now give me one moment. I gotta type in this message really quick. Alright guys, anywho though. But yeah. So this is the evolution before our first pay-per-view of Payback. Right now, we're going to start off the show with without the usual promo. We're going to start off with the tag match between t and &E Productions, Taylor and Ebony, or t and &E, and the Sam Twins. Sam and Sam. Hence why, you know, the Sam Twins. Duh. Alright guys, to catch you up on the recap, for those of you who missed out on episode 1, in this new show of Evolution, we had had two battle royales to determine the commissioner and the general manager of this show. For those of you who missed out on the episode, again, check out my Mixer channel. For those of you watching on Mixer, check out my Mixer profile, link to my YouTube channel will be in the profile below. For those of you watching on YouTube, a link to my... WWE 2K18 My Universe Mode series, that would be in the description below. Or you can just click my name and you can scroll through my channel. The playlist is right there. Anywho, just a little recap. So with episode 2, we have our commissioner, the ex-wife or ex-girlfriend, uh, former Nick the Demon. She is Nicole. And general manager in an outstanding victory of 5 elimination and 5-0. and oh, Lori of the Shadow Paladins is our new general manager. So we have a member of the Shadow Paladins in charge of the evolution. This is insane. Introducing, uh, introducing first right now, you see the team of t &E Productions. You saw Ebony, here is a part of T or Taylor, rocking the five sauce hat. Don't mean to skip the intro, guys. We're just going to get right into the battle. Alright, introducing the opponents. First, from North Carolina, she is Sam R. Follow at Squid. Be cool if I made like social media for so all my superstars. Give me one moment, guys. I don't mean to pause that. One moment, one moment, one moment, then we'll get back to it. Alright, sorry about that. I had a friend that told me he got to very lucky. I gotta make sure my charger's still in my controller. I don't want it to die on me. Alright, let's skip this and introduce a partner. Oh, come on. Come on, Trey, you're breaking my balls here. I'm trying to street. Oh, okay, he just said, yeah. Alright, give me one more. I just want to make sure my controller is plugged in. I don't want my controller to die on me. Yeah, it's charging. Alright, introducing Squibb's partner, The Sammy. Or as she's known in her little clique, The Batman. Which is funny, because my one friend goes on a rant about how can she be Batman? She's a girl. So, yeah, you try explaining her that to her. She said she's Batman, I don't disagree. Anywho guys, enough scene entrance. You want to see people beat the shit out of each other. Excuse my language, but let's get into the fight. Starting things off with a uh, E and Squib. Or well, Ebony and Squib. Oh, Beautiful takedown by Ebony. Ooh. Got Sam in the lock. 
and oh, acrobatic skills. They don't have anyone that coordinated to be balanced upside down. Oh, what a face buster. Oh, neckbreaker. Ebony with an incredible offense here. Well, for those of you who do not know also, we do have our very own set of D.Va tag titles held by the Icy Fire team themselves. Don't know who's going up against them in uh, Payback. I gotta discuss that over with the other general manager and commissioners. Like Sammy's in now. Sammy's going to the top rope. It, are all Langels this fucking crazy? Why do all the Langels gotta go on the top rope? Except for Taylor. I'm pretty sure Taylor's the only Langel in this fucking show that doesn't go on the top rope. And this is what happened. Beautiful strength by Ebony. Oh, darn sure. Ooh. Rope to the... Top rope to the neck. Gone straight in real life. Ebony won't, wouldn't be able to do that. Still though, all late. I wonder if all angels are this flipping crazy. Going on the high fives. Second rope. Is she flipping fighting in heels? Are you flipping insane? And you know what? Nope, not gonna judge. Oh. Oh. Wicked nice pin, but a nice kick out by Ebony. It's like a suplex follow up by roll up pin. Oh my god. Uh, that like a submission. A submission early. Ebony gonna tap. The damage that could be done on her back. Oh, Ebony gets out. Sam Powell's out though. Ebony tried to pinfall though. Damon's got her up. Fireman's carry. Oh, a little payback dished out. And again, again, again. Oh my god, these Landers. We, we, we went up to call the law or something. I'm tired of all these Landers going on the top rope. One of them's gonna break ahead. Oh, Tay Tay's not allowing her sister to make the tag. And for those of you who are wondering why do you look alike, they are sisters. In right now we have sister fighting sister. Tag is made though. Like Sam's in. Oh! Looking on the arm of Taylor. My god. My god. Oh! Nice spinning elbow. Hold the second rope. Beautiful cross splash. Hope everyone can hear me. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Oh! What the? Ooh! Got on a submission! Doing damage on the arms! She gonna tap! Oh! Power's out! Ooh! An incredible plan by Taylor! Ebony hyping up the crowd! Ebony showing belief! Power of positivity! Ebony believes in a partner. Uh-oh. Oh! Leg drop. Is it a leg drop or an atomic leg drop? I don't know. Some moves I know, some moves I don't know. Sam going for the pin. Sam going for the pin. Oh, Ebony breaks it up in time. Sam, though. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Beautiful reverse of Ebony. Both fires are down. I want popcorn. I want popcorn. Someone's cooking popcorn while I'm trying to announce the greatest show of all, Evolution. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Ebony with the right hook to uh, Sam. Sam, though, with a shoulder tackle. Tay Tay, though, doesn't like a friend being pushed on. Oh, beautiful suit. Make tag. Oh, tag. Got our first viewer. Venom's in the live chat. Speaking of Venom, he's gonna like 
He's gonna like uh, one of the matches we have in store for Evolution. Oh! Face first in the turnbuckle, followed by a German suplex. And this is how it takes place. I can't wait to see you in the boxing event me and the King are putting together only on the Team Do HQ network. Well, the Team Do HQ channel. She making a tag? Tag is made. Okay, it looked like she tagged the turnbuckle, but the ref is allowing Ebony in. Ooh. Oh, what a spear! Mamma mia! Damn me with the spear. Kick out. Good kick out by Ebony. Ooh, Irish whip. Oh, followed by a drop kick. I'll tell you what, these two teams are, are pretty good. Oh, nice leg drop. Oh yeah, I agree with you, man. For those of you who can't see my live mixer chat, Venom is talking about the boxing event hosted by yours truly and the king over at DWE. Um, no, not at DWE. We'll be hosting the boxing event on Team Do HQ. Uh, we don't have a official date yet, but I want a viewer here, Venom, talking about how his opponent's gonna go down. Don't even have a date yet, and we already have one one of our contenders. Is he talking to talk? Which I'm pretty sure he can back it up, though. Ooh! We got a tag team. Now, if I'm correct, this is a double super class. Maybe. Feel free to please correct me in the comments below at the Mixer or YouTube. I always love when people correct me, that way I know. Oh! That was like neck first in the turnbuckle. Oh no, no, no! Oh! Oh no, I thought she had a curve stomp. Oh my god, I was about to say. What is Sam doing though? Oh! Going for the cover! Some kind of sexy pose cover! Oh! Heaven is able to kick out. And reverse this. Zigzag! Oh my god! Could this be it though? For the win! Oh! Sammy with the break up in time. Ebony's trying to get the slap on Sam, but Sam got out in time. Uh oh. Ooh! Beautiful roundhouse kick by Sam. Sam with the finisher. Watch out, Ebony! Oh! Oh! Sam picks up the win for her team with, with a beautiful roundhouse kick. Holy mother of mackerel. I thought, oh, I thought she reversed she reversed the first one, but the second one connected. Please tell me we got that last kick in the highlight reel. I'm so mad at the game if it didn't. But it's leg drop. Got the spear. Oh, I'm super triggered right now. I don't think I saw the, uh... Oh, then again, I wasn't paying attention for the first one. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Our first match, Sam Twins pick up the win. Alright. Good news is, guys, there ain't gonna be any more... There, there ain't any more promo... There ain't any promos in this show. So we don't have to worry about people talking. Ah, oh, I got a message tray, man. I gotta get Trey up in here. Alright guys, so right now we have debuting for the first time on Evolution is Trixie Collins. Uh, this isn't her first time debuting on the channel. She has debuted in episode 3 of NXT, the latest stream. Feel free to check out my Mixer channel for all my past streams. Or click the link of my YouTube channel. I also upload them to YouTube. 
all links, all my my YouTube links and the old videos are all on my Mixer channel. So for those of you watching on Mixer, check out my profile to get those links. For those of you watching on YouTube, I'll leave a link to my Mixer channel in the description below. I hope Trey makes it in time. Because for those of you who don't know, Brooke City is the girlfriend of DWE superstar uh, Trey City. Oh, Trixie Collins from behind. Another fun fact we have is Trixie Collins is related to Dan Collins. He is a member of, uh, or he is a superstar of NXT. Man, Trixie though with that cheap shot. Is it Trixie? Did I say that right? Trixie, yeah, I said that right. Brooke, though. Brooke doesn't like to be taken from behind, I guess. Brooke with the, that offense. Um, if I'm correct... Ooh, beautiful shoulder tackle. Um, if I'm correct, we do not have anything scheduled for a commissioner. Oh, I heard something. Uh, we don't have anything planned for a commissioner right now. Um, I do have rumors that our general manager is in the building today, and she is scheduled for a match. And for those of you who don't know, our general manager is Loy of the Shadow Paladins, and the commissioner is Nicole, former girl slash uh, almost wife of former Nick the Demon, now he's just Nick. Trixie though with that offense now. Ooh. Ooh. Rook City now. Beautiful Russian leg sweep. This could be a count out if these people don't get in the ring. Ref, do your job. Count. What is with the pause? Count of eight. Ooh, count of eight. Trixie makes it in. I was whipped to the corner. Oh, beautiful takedown by Brook City. Goes to the cover. Trix, but uh, Trixie still got some gas still in her. Oh, oh, nice inverted DDT. I think that was good reversal though. Goes for the pin. Nah, that wasn't it. Too early. Too early for the pin. You gotta damage Brook City more. For those of you watching on Mixer, let me know if you can hear my voice loud and clear. Ooh! Step up in Siguri! Oh, my leg drop. Ooh, now just attacking the arm. Alright. My check is a golden. Is he live with... I think it was live with two NBA. Oh, 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 oh! Reversal. She was going for a super kick. Brook City. Oh, Tra uh, Trixie reversal. Oh, gets it with the neck breaker. Oh, and another step up in the game. She's gonna try one more time though. Ladies and gentlemen, can she do it? Second time is the charm. Super kick. Oh my god! We don't want any rope breaks. Goes for the cover. Oh! Near fall. Ladies and gentlemen, that was close. Skiddily daddily close. Goes for the elbows. Oh! And a belly to belly! Strength showed by Trixie. Oh, I was ripped though by Brook City. Oh, knee in the turnbuckle. That's gonna cost her. Trixie with the shoulder. I was ripped again by Brook. Oh, second rope. The tornado DDT. Brook City now going to the top rope. This giant's gonna fly. Oh! Mid-air stunner! Is this all she wrote? 
This is Charles she wrote. Oh my god, both with the Neo Pinfall. Both of these fighters are just amazing right now. Does she have another one? Nope, there's an elbow drop. I thought she was going for another mid air stunner. I was about to say. Ooh, again with the elbow. Again with the elbow, Jesus. We get it, Brooks. You're good with the elbow. Going for the Northern Mike suplex. Oh, I thought she was going to pin him. Pin her there. Top rope. Another mid air stunner. Maybe. We could see it. She kick it. Oh my god. It is amazing. The strength of Trixie Collins. I think she's got another. She's gone for it again. Not again. Oh! That one didn't fully connect. I mean, it connected a little bit, but not fully. That cost her. Now she's taunting. Do people, do people watch WWE? Taunting's never good. You never show your back to your opponent. Ooh, beautiful reversal. Oh yeah, she's livid. Ooh, kick to the midsection. Ooh, another step up in Seguri. Uh oh. I thought she was going for another super kick. Oh. What is she doing? Oh! Thought she was going for a pin though. Feels like some kind of suplex pin. Oh! Good reversal by Trixie. Trixie with the offense. Going for the slam. Oh! And the pin. Oh! Good kick out. That's gotta hurt her legs though. Her legs keep hitting that. Her hey, legs at the rope after that. Uh oh. Oh! Gut check. She's got it. She's going for it. Super kick! Oh! She's gotta drag her. No rope break. Back to Costa. Maybe. What do we got, ref? Oh, man. Gets the shoulder up. Holy guacamole. Uh oh. Oh, got her in a headlock. Got her in that headlock. What's Brooke gonna do? Can she get out of it? Oh! And she does. Uh oh. Oh! Is that some kind of like inverted dragon corkscrew or something? I don't know, but Brooke with the pin. Oh, and just barely. Barely. I know you guys saw that. Just barely with the right shoulder. Or left shoulder. Uh oh. Oh. What an exploder suplex. On the top rope. She's calling for it one more time. Could we see it? Oh, mid air stunner! What a mid air stunner! Goes for the cover. Ladies and gentlemen, Brook City picks up the win. I really hope that doesn't cause any drama between Dan and Trey when Dan makes it over to DWE. If he makes it over, I don't know. I mean, I know he's, he's kind of comfortable in NXT, but let's hope Trey and Dan don't do any. Let's hope. Trey and Dan are the friendship's good. See some kind of invasion happening. Brook City though, what the win? Drinks on you, Brook City. Cheers, Brook. Cheers.
Oh wow, she was the number one of them's number two. Uh, the second to be number one contender. Wonder who's the number one contender. Oh, this is a good match. We got one half of the Mystic Tag Champ against Shio Graining, defending undisputed WKE Champion Soul. I feel like I want. I either want to have like an advocate for Soul, or make it me, and that's how I'm gonna announce the Soul from now on. Cause every time I I have Soul's character in a match, she just kicks ass. <laughs> Shut up, Paul Heyman. Listen here, I'm better than Paul Heyman. I right? Paul Heyman wishes he was me. Paul Heyman's got his witty, witty ditty. I shoot up steroids, block Grock Lesnar. I got that soul. I got that no way scars in the face WKE champion soul. He's way better than you. You know what? You know, after this boxing event, I'll call out Paul Heyman. I'll call out Ronda Rousey. I'll call out Brock Lesnar. I'm going to be better than all of them. I'll call out the whole WWE Universe. I was like, I don't care who they sent. I'll whoop all their asses. Give me Braun Strowman. No, but seriously, I actually made that joke to Najee. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I win? Oh, well, oh yeah, I almost all train thought. If I win and I get a mic, I just look in the camera and I'm just like... Someone's like, oh, what are you going to do next? I call out that poser wannabe chicken shit pansy, Ronda Rousey. Not to mention Brock Lesnar, CM Punk. Which one of you pansies is going to answer my call? Then I chop the mic and I walk out. Speaking of which, Han Solo Soul. Your world champion right here, ladies and gentlemen. Hitting that dab. Can't see her when she hits that dab. Just barely getting by. That's how we live our life. Introducing her, well, there she is. Introducing her challenger, one half of the Mystic Tag Champs. She is, oh well, she is Ariel and Fire Blitz. I sense some cheating that's about to go down. Now, for those of you who missed the first episode of Evolution, uh, just a little recap. Uh, there's a story behind this tag team right here. Uh, the reason the tag team was formed was Ariel, in one of her promos, announced her feelings, basically came out the closet, and admitted her feelings for Fire Bliss. Um, Fire Bliss didn't, didn't return any feelings back, so it's kind of up in the air if she feels the same way. Uh, I don't question them. They wanted to look badass. Ooh. Alright. Got some good handshakes. Looks like the, uh, Bayoui Ice. Got some respect. Soul. Why is Ariel on that side? Ooh. Oops, uh, Sling Blade. But yeah, anywho. So for those of you who missed the last episode of Evolution, basically... Ariel came out the closet, admitted her feelings to Fire Blitz. Um, Fire Blitz didn't admit any feelings back, but she did. It, she did come to senses and you know agreed to form a tag team. Ooh, was that a knee right off the bat? Goes for the quick pin. Ooh. 
But yeah, this is the first um, LGBT uh, team that I have created in all of my WWE um, series. Oh. This is going to be one tough challenge for Soul. I, mean, I know Soul's character was in a bunch of challenges. Oh. Hitting a neck on top. Nice, man. Oh. Got him, got him in the armbar. What? That qu oh my god! Blitz, uh, Blitz throwing her down, um, uh, that she's dominating, making the tap champ, uh, the champ tap. That is the fastest I've ever seen a match in all my experience. Wow. I would, but if this was DWE, I would totally do a rematch, but it's not my call. It's not up to me, man. Damn. They are just dominating. Could Blitz have a... Could, could Blitz have a title shot in this upcoming pay-per-view? Shoot, she's already number one contender. I don't know, I think... Who's got the women's champion? I think that was an NXT. Damn, though. Alright, next up we got Maddie of the Camp Squad versus She Venom. Yes, it is. Now, what's still funny, though, some back... Now, a funny story, well, it's not funny, but what we still have about She-Venom is we don't know anything about She-Venom. Her backstory is a complete mystery. No one knows her true identity. It is yet to be revealed. All we know is she's part of the Venom Club. One of the first people that Venom X. I don't know, do you? We don't know. The background, she's she's a mystery background. I mean, hopefully, later down the line, we'll get a reveal, but I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. I, oh, wow. What help if I select that? Uh, hold on. I'm going to message you in Messenger. Introducing first... Mad Dog Madison. Or Mad. Give me one minute. Did I really spell symbiote wrong? God darn it, I hate my fat thumb. I really spelled symbiote wrong. I'm very mad right now. <laughs> I'm sorry for kicking your ass. That is a jacket Maddie would have on, too. Nah, it's good to laugh at myself. Alright, introducing her challenger. She's your diva champion and part of the Venom Club, She Venom. And a total mystery. 
Yeah, I know. I have that. I have fat thumbs. All right. Quiet, Venom. Let's get to the fight. Now I'm pretty sure the Divas title is the evolu is uh, for Evolution. Oh, she Venom with the offense. Nice snap back to her. Yeah, if I'm correct, the Divas title is for this show. It didn't transfer over from NXT. I'd have to double check though, but I'm fairly confident. Alright, giggity. Alright, let's see. Oh! Oh! Maddie with the reverse goal. Yeah, Maddie is another one of those superstars where she's been in 18 and 17, and she, she's she been pretty good on her own. I mean, she's part of a tag team, but mostly she's been doing solo stuff. Oh! Oh! Gut check! We got here. Top rope. What is she calling for? Oh! Beautiful power slam reversal. That was an amazing reversal on Maddie's case. Nice sideways slam. Slam. I gotta crash myself. Oh. Good, uh, it looks like probably explode a suplex. Maddie going on top rope. Oh, nobody's home. Leaving. Oh, I was tripped to the corner. Oh my god, Maddie, no, what are you doing? Maddie, what the fuck? Maddie, oh my god. Oh. What a sideways slam. Oh, good reversal though. And then keeping a symbiote down. Attacking the arm. <laughs> you can't suplex anymore with a broken arm. Northern Lake suplex. Now she venom. Now it's her turn. Going to the top. Oh, what a supposed to be a cross body but didn't fully connect she got him though put to her feet oh now working on the leg oh uh oh oh she just, like she Gouging her eyes out or something. I don't know. Ooh, and then face them. Just treating. Just treating the mad dog like trash. Stone her on the ground. Goes for the cover. Oh! Maddie with that power out, though. Powering out. Ooh! This face. Oh, Maddie, good reversal. But Maddie taunting, that that cost us. Oh, knee to the side. Uh -oh. She don't got her up. Oh, and a face buster. Again, Maddie powers out. Oh, I'm just hacking the head, trying to bust her open. Um, I didn't talk to him yet, but I will. 
Oh, she even with the roll up. They're on the rope, but I get oh. But I will talk to him about it though. Uh oh, oh, it looks like she was gonna go for a suplex, but Maddie with the reversal. Russian leg sweep. Actually, I could probably message Najee right now about that. Uh oh. She let him look out. Oh my god! Oh! The mad dog kick. Goes for the cover. Could this be it? Oh! Right shoulder up. It's gonna take more than that to take down a symbiote. Trust me. I would know. Spider Man would know. And about a couple characters from Marvel Universe would know. Maddie's over the comeback. Ooh, what a slam. Maddie, why are you taunting? Why are you taunting? Why are you taunting? Uh oh. Oh, that's it. We could. That is true. She them though. Good offense. Irish whip. I do like that idea too. I, I gotta let I gotta um let Naj know about that for a championship ring. Oh. I was along the ropes too. Griff, you're not gonna say anything to her? Man, this rep racist. That's true, I do have mine. Wait, does anyone else have any or is it just us? Oh, shit. oh again. Stomping on the one arm. There's your one. Going for a power bomb. Oh no! Boston Crab! No wait, I think he's mystical walls! Must have been an old trick that uh, Venom X caught She Venom. We haven't seen mystical walls since what, 2K17? 2K8? Uh, early 2K18? Ah, but Maddie didn't tap. Damage though. What damage did it do? I am Men's Carry. Oh no! Oh, why does everyone do that? Oh my god, that's got to kill a throat. She got him with the pin. Oh. Okay. She got him going for the, that same arm. That could be Maddie's downfall. Ooh, Irish rip of the Again, Maddie, why are you taunting? Roll up. And I kick him. Someone's gotta, someone's gotta go backstage and tell Maddie to stop taunting. I'm, I'm, I'm not the talk to Taylor Henry about that. Uh oh. She Venom, what are you doing? What the? F Oh, that's just disrespectful. Call the law. Come on now. That's just disrespectful. You know what I am gearing up for? I can't wait for that. Ooh, Maddie. With an F5. Oh, my God. Maddie picks up the win on she Venom. Jesus. Speaking of which, though, speaking of, uh, back to the topic of, uh, first ever pay-per-view on the series, Payback, I cannot wait for that Elimination Chamber match that the hackers got planned for me. Damn, what a spear. she Venom, though, did put up a good, a damn good fight. One of Maddie's gonna demand to be number one contender now. Oh, I've been the champ. I, I deserve my title shot. One, one time. One time. Everybody gets one. 
Alright, on to the next match, guys. Who's it gonna be? Oh, speaking of that, oh! Alright, before I get on my one topic, let me just... So, now we have our general manager, Loy, versus Trinity City. Now, in Evolution, this is the first time debuting. Uh, on the channel, she has debuted, uh, just like Trixie, in Episode 3 of NXT. And it was with the debut, she also had a title shot. And with that title shot, she's your new champion in, in NXT. You can tell Taylor Roth isn't too happy about that. Payback, there could be a rematch clause. Let me tell you what. But speaking of amazing victories, let me tell you, whoever, if you guys missed out on episode one, episode one, part two of Evolution, you missed an amazing uh, match. We had Loy in a, it was a six or eight women rumble for the title of general manager. And let me tell you what, she walked out of there a 5-0 and champion. Eliminated five superstars, the last five, or the five superstars in a row. It, it was unbelievable. But anywho, back on the topic of main event. Now the main event of this episode, you guys are going to flip out. It's going to be amazing. Here she is, your general manager, the Grumpy Face, member of the Shadow Paladins, Lori. I think after this, the main event. Because this is the fifth match, I think. Wasn't paying attention that much. You really should, though. Anywho, though, there's, there's, there's some good backstory, though, for this one. Not this one, but the main event. There's, there's a good story behind it. I, I had some sources backstage inform me about why this match took place. Now, me, the Warlock, I personally disagree with this match. I, I, I can't, not this match, but the main event match. I, I personally cannot pick sides on the main event match, and you'll understand once we get there. But, anywho, let's focus on this match. Can you feel that city glow? Trixie City, sister of Trey and Nico City, uh, two members of the Hip Hop Wolves over in DWE. I guess the Hip Hop Wolves put in a good word and we, we had to put her in evolution. We, we've heard good rumors about her. Shoot, especially after... No, it wasn't Trinity City. It was Trixie Collins. Her debut was the title shot debut in NXT. My bad. Getting my two superstars mixed up. Boy, though, with the arm hold. Ooh. Trinity. Oh, no. Lori now. She's back and forth between these two. Russian leg sweep. Taking down Trinity. Ooh. Ooh, what an inverted suplex. I believe I was right on that one. That one, though. Ooh. Good attack on the arm. Irish whip. Oh, sling blade. Go to a quick pin. Ah, it's gonna take more than that. Oh, he's a shadow powder. Oh, good big boot. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that to take down the shadow paladin member. Not to mention general manager. What the? Oh! I can't be good on the midsection. Face Buster! Trinity, top rope. 
Oh! No one's home to catch that. But a good recovery, though. Ooh. What an attack on the leg. I gotta admit, that was a that was a good recovery, though, after that one fail. Boy, now with the offense. Got a question, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to turn the other announcers on? Or would you guys rather just have me, uh... Would you rather have me with the, um, announcements? Ooh! Got a signature from Lori. Knees to the midsection. No, knees to the stomach. Oh, Lloyd, bank statement. Oh, they had it. Actually, I don't think they'd be bank. Oh, no one's home for that one. I think it's a bank statement. We'll call that one like the shadow statement. Paladin, paladin statement. There we go. What? That was a swing and a miss. Oh no. Oh, go to this. Trinity though, Irish whip. Ooh, good signature. It's going up top. Mid air stunner. Could that be it for the general manager? Is our general manager down? Oh. Neil Pinfall, shoulder up. Ooh. Ooh, running power slam. I didn't see what that was. I kind of missed that. Sorry, guys. I was, I was doing a, I was sending a message. Ooh, ooh, a chop to the, to the chest. Quick pin attempt, though. I'm well, not quick, but a pin attempt. Lloyd with the kick out. Universal. Oh, I think it was like some kind of inverted dragon corkscrew. I don't know for sure. Again, if I ever mispronounce moves, guys, in the mixer chat or on YouTube, put a description in the comment below letting me know. And I know that was a leg drop. Oh, we're gonna see here. Oh, Midair Stunner! What was that twice? Going for the pin. No general manager. She done. There we have it. Oh my God, Trinity City, proving a name for herself in Evolution. If you want to prove you belong in Evolution. You take on the big dog. You, you take Paladin, general manager, commissioner, and she proved it. Oh, wow, I know we can do that. Alrighty then. Jim Carrey over here. Alright, what's our next match, guys? I'm pretty sure it's our main event. Let's let Trinity celebrate for a bit. Feel it in. You go, girl. You go. I believe it is... Is it? Main event time! 
we got the Mystic Mom versus Raven, the Mistress of Magic. Beautiful backstory here. Give me one moment, guys, though. I need to find somebody really quick. I'll let that load while I wait. Let me type this in, and I'll get right to the backstory. Alright. Found her. Alright. Um. Add a friend. Submit. Give me one moment, guys. Alright, let me just send that. That is good. Alright, we are good. Alright, so let me get to this backstory right here. So, to explain why we have this as our main event, you all know that the Mystic Mom, as the name entitles, is the mother of the Warlock Supreme, Commissioner of DWE. Also the wife of Captain James D. Kirk, again another member of DWE. Rachel Roth, or Raven, the Mistress of Magic, is a love interest, and, a, and both the Warlock and Raven have a crush on each other. Now, apparently, I'm surprised we didn't get a promo about this, but backstage, we've had Mystic Mom call out Raven to the arena. You know, basically to prove herself. To prove herself in a match. And if she can win, or if she proves herself, the Mystic Mom will allow the two to, you know, be together. She'll, she'll like, support them. So, like, great. So, basically, Raven wants to prove herself to the mother of the Warlock Supreme. Will she do it? Will she succeed? We'll find out. I'm gonna let this entrance play because I gotta check the message. Now we all know who that is. No introduction is needed. Member of the Teen Titans from the DC Universe. She is. Raven. Give me one minute, guys. I'm gonna have to pause that really quick. Sorry, mamas. One minute, guys. Alright. Wow, that was a nice slide in. Now, for those of you who are wondering why she doesn't have a cloak like in the original Teen Titans show, it's because I based this Raven off of the Mistress, Mistress of Magic comic that I've owned. Or that I own. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of the Raven comics, or, you know, haven't seen that series yet, I will try and find a picture of I'll post the link to a photo of it, or a link of the comic series. But yeah, that's why she doesn't have the cloak. Because this is the Raven based off the comic book. Now, I gotta give a shout-out, because originally I did not make Mystic Mom. Originally... 
Mystic Mom was created by one of my followers and friend Popnik is cool. He created her solely as just the Wicked Witch, but with a little bit of changing, changed the skin tone, changed the face a little bit, changed the name, he came up with Mystic Mom, mother to the Warlock Supreme. If you noticed in her two eyes, in her right eye is completely normal, but in her left eye, she's got Sage Mode, showing that she is one with nature. Thank you for the host, whoever's hosting me, Litman. I do like the host. He made it just in time too, this is our main event. Made it just in time for the main event. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, Litman, give me a follow, follow on Mixer. And stay tuned for all my other streaming series I have. Now, since Whitman is new, as you can see, we have the one with the necklace, that's Mystic Mom. She is the mother to one of the superstars in my other show. And then the other one, Raven, is in relations with the same character. Basically, one's dueling, one's playing the mother for the heart of her son. So it's a fight of love. Give me one moment, guys. Alright, sorry about that. I don't need to mess with that. I really shouldn't do that, because it pauses my match. By the way, Litman, if you have 2K18 and you have characters, if you want, I'm always in need of new characters, either divas or male, mostly divas, that'd be nice. Um, but if you have any characters in community creations, let me know. Or if you want to make a character based off of you, again, let me know. I always like to make characters, you know, based off of uh, my followers. Beautiful Hood Kanrana, by the way, by Mystic Mom. I gotta say, though, I'm impressed. With, um, even though I edited the character out a lot, I'm impressed with the main costume design. How uh, my friend Nick made it. Ooh! Face slam! Going for a pin! Oh, good kick out! I, I, I don't want to be the warlock right now. Well, actually, I am the warlock, but I, I, I don't want to pick sides right now. Ooh, swing and a miss! I, I don't, don't ask me to pick sides right now. This, this is like... Ooh, nice suplex. Or German suplex. You got the girl I've been crushing on, and then you got my own mother. I I, I don't want to be my character right now. Oh my god. Because if you don't know, the warlock is based off of me. So I may refer to myself in third person, or just, you know, as myself. All depends. Raven, though, is proving herself pretty well. Oh! Mystic Mom on that offense. Running Bulldog. One of the second row. Oh, crossbody, but no one's home. No one's home to answer. Raven, though. What is she doing? What does this mean? Is she going for it? Is she going for it? She could end it here. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. She's going for the finisher. Demon Eclipse. No. Oh, reversal. Close line reversal. She was going for that Demon Eclipse. Mystic Mom with the reversal. Oh, she has been studying for this match. Going for the Exploder Suplex. A little homage to uh, Becky Lynch there. Going for the pin attempt. Come on, Mama. Oh, shoulder up. Mr. 
Mystic Mom, though, with the, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Submission locked in. Raven gonna tap. Can she get out? Oh, going for the pin. Oh, nope. Mystic Mom, quick with the pin, with the count out. Oh! Just treating the half demon like a rag doll. Oh, no one's home again. Again, what is with the Langel going on the road? Seen here. Oh, Irish whip to the corner to the road. Oh, beautiful drop kick by the Mystic Mom. Dalton. Still though, what, what, what is with the Langio family? And always going on the ropes. Ooh, good reversal by Raven. Ooh! It's like some kind of tornado inverted DDT. I don't know. But Jesus, you got the Warlock with his mystical four corners. Where he goes out and where he jumps from all four corners. Sam and Taylor, the two sisters with their high flying Pretty sure the father goes high flying and now... We got Mystic Mom going on the road. Oh, again with the signature. She's gonna try it one more time. Oh no, she's gonna talk first. You think she would just try and go for the finisher? Oh yes, she is. Can she can she land it this time? Can she prove the love? Can she prove she wants to be with the warlock? Oh, Demon Eclipse. For the win! Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel Roth Raven with the win picks up the victory. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Let me tell you what, if she didn't prove herself before, she has definitely proved herself now. Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible match. I, I just hope these two contenders can still be friends in the end. I mean, because you got the mother of the Warlock, and now you have the potential wife of the Warlock. I mean, let's, let's hope these two don't get into any fights. Oh my god, though. Demon Eclipse. Hook, lock, and sinker. I, I cannot believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy Evolution Episode 2. Be sure to follow me on Mixer. If you haven't already, and in my mixer profile, be sure to click the link. Follow me on my YouTube channel, The Mystical Warlock Supreme, where these will be uploaded, as well as Team Do HQ. As always, guys, I'm the Warlock, and I'm signing out. Peace.